Francisco de Goya's portrait of the Duke of Wellington from 1812 to 1814 would inspire a British film in 2022 known simply as The Duke. The Duke of Wellington would have been in his early 40s at the time of this portrait, although Goya gives him an even more youthful appearance. The background is neutral and dark, allowing us to focus entirely on the subject as well as providing contrast to the bright tones of his clothing. His bright red tunic is decorated with a large number of medals plus several other adornments. A pink band with blue outline sweeps across his chest and the composition cuts off just above his waist. Kempton Bunton, a bus driver from the northeast of England, stole the painting in 1961. He would later return the piece and eventually handed himself in to authorities. The suspect was assumed to have been an experienced art thief, and so this unassuming pensioner was initially dismissed as an imposter when he first confessed to the crime several years later. Eventually, he was convicted and went to prison for three months. Elements of this unusual case would lead to amendments in British law over the coming years. This somewhat amusing story would inspire a British film, The Duke, which was released in 2022. The story features the court case itself, as well as the lead up to the theft, where Kempton Bunton continues to struggle financially. We also see the aftermath, where the painting is carefully hidden, and then the point at which he decides to hand himself in. The identity of this master criminal as an elderly man with little knowledge of the art world would make this a particularly memorable, somewhat amusing story. In all, Guy would make three different portraits of the Duke of Wellington and he's known to have been delighted with the finished artworks. There are also several detailed study drawings as well, from which the oil paintings could be developed at a later date. Between the years of 1812 and 1814, Goy would actually amend the initial work in order to display the Duke's achievements on the battlefield. Goy added the Order of the Golden Fleece and Military Gold Cross with three clasps onto this figure, recognising his recent award. He had initially arrived in Madrid in 1812, at which point this painting would have been initiated. Goya himself already held a strong record for producing portraits of notable royal and military figures, perhaps tempting the Duke of Wellington to be included himself within a growing list of notable figures.